Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Urbex. On today's episode, we'll be taking a look at Barnes & Noble booksellers. Now the first thing that comes to mind when anyone mentions Barnes & Noble, or really any bookstore for that matter, is how in the hell are they still a thing? How are they still around and surviving? When stores like Penny's and other essential stores, um, you know, because Penny sells clothing, they're failing and going out of business, but yet somehow bookstores are hanging on. While I was visiting this Barnes & Noble here in the Cincinnati area, we had a big thunderstorm roll through. And, you know, it, it almost in a way was peaceful because you're inside this bookstore and you can grab your favorite book from one of the shelves, sit down in one of their big comfy chairs, and just watch the storm outside as you read a good book. And, you know, I know a lot of people would enjoy that, but, um, books just aren't really for me. I just, with my ADHD, I can't focus on them, but I do love a good audiobook or movie, and to sit by the window and enjoy one of those while the rain's going outside, it's just, it was just kind of a wonderful thing. And, you know, the bookstore itself is just real peaceful. It's very quiet. It's really sad because there were only one or two people shopping. I was told by a store employee that these were for a promotional deal that they had going on later in the month. I've always liked the way Barnes & Noble's looked. They're very elegant, very peaceful, and very well laid out. And if you can't find anything, the employees have always been very helpful whenever I've needed um, help locating you know, a book or whatever. I can always remember as a kid, my mom loved reading and she would take me to Barnes & Noble's and they had the cafe. Um, back then it wasn't a Starbucks cafe, but they had these things called the cookie spoons and they were like um, a cookie covered in chocolate shaped as a spoon. They were amazing and sadly they don't have them anymore. More recently they've started selling more movie and book memorabilia, you know, like statues and different things and I think that's a good direction. So this brings us to the kids section and it's one of my favorite sections in a bookstore. Barnes & Noble does their kids section really well with all of the um, the characters from the different uh, children's books and whatnot. Just the way it's decorated is fantastic. It's very inviting and I can remember going in here when I was little and always enjoying it. And if I remember right, they even back in the day had story time where they'd have someone come in, sit up on the stage and read books to all the kids. It was really great. Pretty much all of my childhood books came from Barnes & Noble, either here or Borders. And Borders, now that's a whole nother topic. That's a store that was from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and sadly it's long gone. It was awesome too. Look guys, it's the adventures of Harry Potter, babies and toddlers. It's one epic adventure of all time. <laughs> Thanks for joining me here on another episode of Urbex as we took a look at Barnes & Noble. Well, for now, they're still open, but someday soon we may be looking at them and uh, checking out one of their going out of business sales. As always, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon, and I'll see you on another episode of Urbex.